Fob Vintage Lambo. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see what we've done so far uh, real quick. And this is where the factory hole uh, was that uh, it's been distorted. This has the factory pin inside it. And this is where we relocated. So I'll zoom in there real quick and you can see just a quick difference on this. Now I'd also like to point out the difference in the two pins. So let me just take this one out. Okay, so there's the factory one right there. And I'll bring it out like this. And let me move one over to the one side. <laughs> this is a too powerful of a magnet. So now, now you can see the difference in the, uh, the two pins and you can see the difference in the diameter. Now one thing that I didn't change was uh, the hole right here. So this hole is the same and you can see that this pin, larger that it is, it still fits in. Um, of course, there's not a lot of slop in it, but there's a little bit. I mean, it's it has to have a little bit just for the tolerances of what we're working with. So, you know, we've got a couple thousands. Uh, the pin, uh, the factory pin here, you can see the diameter of the hole and this, and you can see that there's a lot of space in here. And what happens is, is that uh, this can rock back and forth, and then this hole starts getting elongated, and by this rocking back and forth, then you're gonna have a problem like this. All right, so we're gonna try and eliminate as many potential problems as we can. Now, let me just, uh, See, what are we going to do today? Well, <clears throat> on, on early cars, it, uh, it's 350 or a Mira or what have you. There was no opening in here for a grease fitting or anything. But uh, later on, uh, these started showing up. I have put one in this. Now, this is not for lubrication. So... We do not want any lubrication. You want no lubrication on this and, and on the cylindrical bushings in here. They're Teflon coated for a reason. And the Teflon <clears throat> is when this bolt moves, the Teflon would want to adhere onto here. So it's gonna fill any imperfections that might be on here and everything is just hunky-dory. Now, if you introduce grease onto here, then you wipe that concept right off. It, it, it's not going to function the way it was designed to function. Now, why do we want a, a grease hole here? Well, there's a slight cavity uh, in here where the bolt is, and moisture makes its way through the metal, what have you. This bolt will rust. And then... If you wait 10, 20, 30, 40 years, getting this bolt out is a major operation. Heat, force, all these things that you don't want to play with on these castings, you have to apply to these things to get this thing out. So we're going to avoid that problem. So what we're going to be doing is we have to think about this is a maintenance item. This is... A replaceable part and you should be thinking about maintenance and let's just throw something out there like 10,000 miles or five years and you just take it apart you'll be able to reuse this if you wait longer I don't know how much longer but if you wait longer then this has to be replaced how long are they gonna be making these I think you can still get them I have a couple that are good and I have some that brand new for this vehicle so what I want to do is I put in a grease fitting. I'm also going to put down here two holes that are going to be threaded. I'm going to have this bolt. Everything is in place. Last thing I do is I'm going to put grease in here and slowly. This bolt and that Teflon, it, it is right up there. No problem. It's a nice, very... It's a snug but slippery fit. And when I put the grease into this cavity, 
it's going to want to come out these two holes before it gets onto this Teflon. You do not want it on the Teflon. Soon as I see signs that I have grease here to here, I'm done. I'm over. I will then cap these, take the grease fitting out, cap that, and that's done. It's greased until you take it apart again because you don't want to like leave some grease fitting in there and then some uh, you know, person says, hey, grease fitting, that must mean it needs grease. And so as soon as you do that, then you just eliminate the whole idea behind what the factory had in their way of keeping this a very nice fit, slippery, but no slop. So we, we want to keep it that way, but we also, we don't want any rust. The grease I use is going to be a marine grade grease because we care more about corrosion protection than some grease type of wheel bearing type of stuff. We want to put something in here. Yes, marine grease works on wheel bearings, but it has a corrosion protection in it. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be setting this up so that we'll be able to grease this. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm uh, making some uh, crush washers, a very uh, soft aluminum, and I, you know, I can't buy the size I want, so I'm just going to make them myself. Finish the crush washers, finishing up on the uh, brass screws. This is the M6. I'm putting a vent hole in here. Give you a comparison of what I started with and what I ended with. So you can see the vent hole and then the uh, reduced diameter. Last operation on these M6s to take uh, two millimeters off the length of the screw. Okay, I'm doing a slight uh, counterbore, just, just trying to get this so that I can put, let me just go in here. Put that crush washer on there and everything is, you know, really nicely done. You can see I need to just do a hair more on that right side. It's a use uh, what you have available uh, to make this uh, line up. And so I lined it up uh, so everything was set. So with, with a uh, level. So that's the story and uh, went ahead, took a little bit more off. It's perfect now. Not the most deluxe setup, but it works. I wanted to stabilize the upright. I attached a level onto the drill. I put a, uh, a counter bore on that. And then I'm going to finish it off with this, but I have to take uh, this unit out here so it doesn't hit. So I'm almost there. All the drilling and tapping and counter boring is all completed. Uh, this is how it's going to be set up uh, when we put it on the car with a grease fitting and these two ports are now going to be open and As soon as the grease goes in that we can see it coming out these two ports We take the grease fitting off and then we cap them It's going to look like this once it's uh, already done and the car is on the road Please like and subscribe. Uh, we will now go and set this thing up with the new bearings new seals and all the guts to go with it and i'll see you on the next one bye bye now